Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review. It's a film that's out at the cinema. Uh, it came out like last week. Um, I managed to go and watch it last night and it is a film called Guardians of the Galaxy. It, uh, it is a new film, like I've said. It came out last week. Um, it is a bit of a futuristic sort of film. Uh, a guy called Peter Quill gets taken as a young boy in the year of 1988. He gets taken in a spaceship um, just after his mum dies, uh, you don't know what she dies of, um, she's in a hospital and uh, he's saying bye to her and all that, he runs out of the hospital then he gets taken. It then jumps about 26 years later that Peter Quill, Star-Lord as he is now call him, calling himself, is a bit of a rogue guy, he um, goes around collects items, any sort of stuff that he can get his hands on. Uh, that people want. Fair enough, uh, you got to make a living somehow. This is where the story picks up that Peter Quill, Star-Lord, is uh, picking up a gem, but he doesn't know it's a gem. This gem is to go on the Infinity Glove, or Infinity Gauntlet, um, however you want to call it. Uh, it's one of the stones that goes on the glove that Thanos wants. Trouble is, he doesn't know that, he just knows that he's picking up a ball uh, from a planet uh, that's pretty much the gist of the story. It's good, evil, all wanting this ball, uh, this stone that's inside the ball. You've got Chris Pratt who plays uh, Star-Lord. Now he's not a bad actor in this film. Um, he's pretty much a confident sort of character. Happy-go-lucky. Uh, he does have uh, funny one-liners. Uh, you've got Zoe Saldana who, who plays Gamora. I didn't know that Gamora uh, was actually the daughter of Thanos. She's pretty cool. She's all in green. Uh, she's an assassin. Um, she sets out really to get the uh, the ball, the gem. You've also got Rocket Raccoon, who is voiced by Bradley Cooper. He is a animated raccoon uh, that was modified and generically uh, created. You've also got Groot. Now Groot is a big tree. He can change from small or big. Uh, he doesn't say anything either. He just says, "I am Groot," constantly. Now Groot is uh, Rocket Raccoon's best friend. He's kind of like his bodyguard. Uh, or do anything for him. They are the bounty hunters really. They're the bounty hunters who are out to get uh, Peter Quill. They've got a little machine, it's like a tablet and they're scanning around people. They find Stan Lee and they also uh, find Star-Lord. Now this is where they all meet up, uh, where they all first meet each other. After that they meet Drax. Now Drax is played by WWE wrestler when he wants to. Uh, Dave Batista. Now, Batista has never really had big major roles. He's only had small little parts. Uh, he's still new to the acting world. Uh, in all honesty, he's pretty cool. His wife and child has been killed by uh, by a guy called Ronan. Uh, never heard of Ronan, don't know anything about him. All I know is that he looks like a blue uh, Prometheus character. Um, he's got a big hammer and he's kind of like... Thanos' uh, boy, should I say. Uh, Thanos does uh, play a bit of a part in the film, so does uh, the collector Benicio Del Toro. You've also got Karen Gillan, she plays Nebula, who is Gamora's sister, who is also the daughter, or created daughter, of Thanos. Now, Karen Gillan, I'm pretty surprised of how much of a part she played. Uh, it's pretty cool that they gave her such a big part. I thought, judging by the trailers, it would be a small part little cameos throughout the film. However, uh, yeah, she does play a bit of a big uh, part in the film, which is pretty cool, you know, an English actress. Um, she's pretty new to the world. Apart from being in Doctor Who and small little parts like that, you know, she's now in a big uh, Marvel film, uh, which is really good, you know, well done to her. But, uh, yeah, that's the gist of the story. They're all after this orb. Uh, the ball is um, housing a gem. Uh, Thanos wants it to part, be part of his uh, Infinity Gauntlet glove, whatever you want to call it, with all the infinity stones or gems. Uh, there are pretty cool one-liners throughout the whole film. Action, there's explosions, gunfights, um, big space battles. Uh, there's a slight love story with uh, Gamora and uh, Star-Lord. The end uh, credit scene is a bit crap really. Howard the Duck sat on a uh, plinth and uh, is talking to the collector saying why are you letting that dog lick your face bit crap really but uh, we stuck around for it because all true fans stick around at the end of credit films. Marvel it's taken about 97 million dollars already uh, can't recommend it enough uh, pretty cool film entertaining uh, you do laugh at certain parts of it throughout the whole film uh, but yeah can't recommend it enough guys go see Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Also, we in the voted links down below as per usual. Use Toby WTD gets you twenty percent off any of the voted items you decide to buy. Links down below as per usual. Well, guys, Guardians of the Galaxy, go watch it. Um, can't recommend it enough. Marvel film, awesome. Um, probably the biggest grossing film that they've made to date. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, awesome. Go watch it.